financing for the world's largest concentrating solar plant completed, information about Honda testing solar power charging stations, and a California farm adds solar to its land. This is your Daily Energy Report. Hello, welcome to the Daily Energy Report for Wednesday, December the 22nd. I'm Ben Lack, Chief Conversationalist, and I'm here to bring you the latest daily energy news. Leading off, Abengoa Solar has finalized the financing required to build the world's largest parabolic tro concentrating solar plant. The company finalized $1.45 billion towards the plant dubbed Solana, which requires a total investment of about $2 billion. The plant is expected to produce 250 net megawatts of energy. The energy generated from the plant has been sold through a power purchase agreement to Arizona Public Service Company, the state's largest electric utility, for the next three decades. The project was partially funded by a DOE loan guarantee. Solana will be the first large-scale plant in the country capable of storing its energy, allowing it to generate electricity into the evening and on cloudy days. While under construction, the plant will create 1,700 new construction jobs and eventually 85 permanent jobs. Solana will be Abengoa Solar's 14th CSP plant. One hindrance to the adoption of electric vehicles is the lack of sufficient infrastructure to support the choice to go green. In an effort to solve the problem, Honda is going to begin testing a solar-powered public EV charging station around the world. The company also plans a range of tests on EVs in realistic environments. Northeast Alteras Renewables, a certified organic Burl farm in California, has announced the building of a new solar energy system. The 600-acre organic farm now receives 60 to 70 percent of its significant power needs from the 7.74 kilowatt system installed by Alteras. The project was partially financed through a Department of Agriculture Rural Energy for America grant and a small business energy grant from NY CERTA. The new solar energy system will help the farm take advantage of financing opportunities while still making a difference in the local environment and the economy. Have thoughts or comments about today's show? Then please visit us at dailyenergyreport.com and let us know what you think. That's all the time that we have for today. Thanks for watching and make sure you tune in tomorrow to check out the latest Daily Energy Report. Have a great day.